What's going on guys and welcome back to episode number 123 of our Portsmouth career mode and before we start this episode basically I want to ask you what you would like to see after this career mode finishes because at the end of the day guys um, there isn't really much more to do with this Portsmouth team. We bet pretty much built the strongest possible team we can build. There's not really any places that we really need strengthening. And if we go ahead and win the double, obviously the Barclays Premier League and the Champions League, we will be ending the series, but we will be starting a new one. But that's when you guys come in. What type of series do you want me to start after? Do you want me to start another Road to Glory series with another League 2 or League 1 side? Maybe it's the likes of a Millwall, a Cambridge, AFC Wimbledon, MK Dons. I just do not know, guys. Um, basically, that's going to be open to you guys. I want to ask you now because obviously the series is not yet finished. There are still plenty of things that can happen. We might not. We might have a complete flop, go out of the um, Emirates FA Cup, which we could do in this game. Then we could end up going on a really bad run in the Barclays Premier League and not with a title. We could get knocked out of the Champions League, which means we'd probably do another season with Portsmouth. But what do you guys want to see after this series? That's the question which I want you to let me know in the comment section down below. Lovely chance for us to squeeze the ball through to Gabriel Barbosa. He's going to try and take on Eric Bailly as he cuts back inside and the skill move didn't work. So he was going to cut back inside with the Berber spin, but I must have pressed the wrong button because it did not work. So the ball through to Gabriel Barbosa. Barbosa tries to play the ball around the corner, but we will win the ball back with Renato Sanchez. Renato Sanchez through to Hugo Azevedo. Hugo Azevedo doing a little bit of fancy footwork as he plays the ball back inside to Emre. Emre through to Gabriel Barbosa. Barbosa back through to Dembele. Dembele turns his man and just as he's about to pull the trigger, he gets a little nudge, which puts him off. Have a win the ball back with Neymar. Neymar with the ball back through to Hugo Azevedo. Hugo's cutting away from Bailly. He goes for goal and he has scored another terrific goal. That is outstanding technique with the outside of his left boot. Curling the ball round David De Gea. It probably started outside the post and curled back in. Bailly comes across to try and get a block on it. He can't do it. Uh, David De Gea gets beaten with an absolute delightful strike. And there was no way he was going to be keeping that one out. He's one of the best goalkeepers in the game. But not even he could stop it. Hugo Azevedo, what a goal, son. Lopez around the corner to Dembele. Dembele's taking on Eric Bailly. As of course, no one's going to catch up with Dembele. Dembele tries to cut back inside but can't do so. But can we win that one in the air? We can't. But we will win the ball back with Andreas Christensen as he plays the ball through to Jose Gaia. And we're going to try a build up from the back as we play it in. And just as we say, we're going to try a build up from the back. We end up messing it up. But we go into the halftime break with a 1-0 lead after that fantastic goal from Hugo Azevedo. Lovely chance for United. They got the ball. Can we get the ball clear? Oh, what a challenge that was from Dembele as he played the ball to Barbosa. Barbosa through to Neymar. Neymar around the corner to Emre Moore. Emre Moore gets taken down by a fantastic challenge from Bailly. And to be honest, if it wasn't for Bailly, we probably would have had a few more clear-cut chances. Barbosa through to Emre Moore. Emre Moore through to Neymar. Neymar out wide to Hugo Azevedo. Hugo strikes it first time and he's done it again. He scored yet another two goals. And to be honest, he scored zero goals in the Barclays Premier League before the last episode. And then he scored two goals and now he scored two again. And that is a fantastic first time strike into the back of the net. This guy is starting to find his feet. So win the ball back here as he splays the ball over the top to Neymar. Will Neymar get there before David De Gea? He won't. And then look at that. <laughs> I thought I think FIFA got a little bit confused there maybe they thought they were trying to create a WWE game or something so Barbosa's on the ball as he plays a lovely ball over the top to Mbak Lotin. I think he's onside as Lotin goes for goal and he's found the back of the net as well he's only been on the pitch for a matter of seconds and normally it's Lima Almeida that's finding the back of the net from them sort of positions but this time Lotin does it we haven't had that much faith in this guy we dropped him to the bench, we then dropped him to the resis, but he's still coming on the pitch and he's still scoring goals. Barbosa with a lovely ball over the top, it's a good first touch and a fantastic finish across David De Gea. It's a 3 0 result and a complete domination of the game away from home in the Emirates FA Cup. We're through to the next round and we are just a force to be reckoned with. No one, I think, is good enough to beat us in our current run of form. The man of the match, we will in fact go ahead and give to Hugo Azevedo as he picked up two goals yet again and he is playing some fantastic football now.
So now it's time for the second game of the episode, and without a surprise, it's against United again. This time, it is against United in the Barclays Premier League. We're 19 points clear at the top of the table, and like I said, we're a force to be reckoned with. Let's see if they can learn from the previous defeat 3-0 and actually come back at us with something more to offer. So we've got a fantastic chance really early on. We play a lovely ball over the top to Gabriel Barbosa, who's one-on-one -on -one with David De Gea. De Gea makes the save. It comes to Neymar, and it actually hits the outside of the post, and then Bailly pretty much clears it off the line. So we nearly take the lead just five minutes in as we've got the ball with Dembele. He puts a good ball in, and the diving header goes nowhere near. But the ball back to Lopez. Lopez back to Emre. Emre to go with a finesse, and Anthony Marshall doing his defensive duties well. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Oh, yes. Get in. We've scored yet another goal, and yet another goal on the counter. We are the counter-attack kings. That's what you can call us, guys. We score so many goals on the counter. Emre Moore with a lovely ball into the centre, and that's a lovely header as well. Past David De Gea. De Gea is going to be sick of the sight of our players, because we've beat him four times in the space of less than two games. Lovely chance for United, and they got the ball with Paolo Dybala, and they pegged us back. Just as I said that we were a force to be reckoned with, Paolo Dybala, probably one of the best strikers in the game, if not the best, I think he's 92 rated, he's just scored a very good goal, curling the ball past our goalkeeper, and that is not a bad finish. So, we've got our work cut out here. Neymar with a good chance here. Neymar takes on his man. Can he, oh, what a piece of play from Neymar. And if it wasn't for Pogba pretty much clipping the heels, we probably would have had a better chance of getting a strike away. But Barbosa here, can he get it up and over the wall? He gets it up, he gets it over, and he can't get it up, he can't get it over. So I pretty much anticipated too early on there as um, the shot was pretty tame straight into the wall. It's a passing game. Oh... Oh, 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 it looks like we could be in for a defeat here because Ross Barkley has just scored an absolute astonishing goal. I know we're only in the 35th minute, but what a goal that was. I don't believe, well, I, I do believe it because it is a fantastic goal, but um, that is just astonishing. Our goalkeeper, absolutely no chance. Well, we had three goalkeepers in goal, we wouldn't have been saving that one. Ross Barkley puts it right into the top-hand corner and from being 1-0 up, they have now taken the lead. So... We need to try and do better than what we have been doing here. Lovely piece of play from Hugo here. Hugo all the way. Plays the ball through to Neymar. Neymar goes for goal. And Neymar finds the back of the net. So we are now back on level terms. Hugo Azevedo once again in the thick of things. Picking up the assist this time. He cuts back inside. and They go to ground. Can't catch up with him. He plays a lovely ball through to Neymar. And that's a fantastic strike into the bottom corner. Past De Gea. And a very interesting first half. 2-2. Good chance for United, the play ball to Anthony Marshall, back inside to Anton Griezmann. And our goalkeeper wants a game with a decent save. And this game could go any way. Both teams are attacking very strong as Dybala's got the ball. We're going to try and take the ball off of him, but Dybala is very strong in these sort of positions as he holds off uh, Renato Sanchez. He takes us for a ride, pretty much making us look like a mug as we cut back inside. We win the ball back, and now this is our chance to break. This is where we are normally so deadly, and we can see the ball over the top. It's a lovely ball as well through to Dembele. Dembele's going to try and go all the way, and he's going to try and find the ball out wide, which actually comes back to Hugo Azevedo. Hugo cuts back inside. Hugo to find the back of the Net. He goes for the finesse, but it's not strong enough. The ball with Emre Moore is going to try and take on Eric Bailly as he cuts back inside, and we try and offload the ball to Renato Sanchez, which we do do eventually. Renato Sanchez with a heel to heel flick. Renato Sanchez goes for goal, and he's found the top corner, hasn't he? What a fantastic goal that was from Renato Sanchez. And in the 90th minute or the 89th minute, we have scored a fantastic goal. Lovely piece of play from Renato Sanchez. The heel to heel flick gets him away from Pogba. And that is some finish right at the top hand corner. If you thought Ross Barkley's goal was good, take a look at Renato Sanchez's. What a strike. And it looks like that's won us the game. So there we go. It has won us the game as well. United done a lot better than they did in the FA Cup. They caused us all sorts of problems, but we just proved too good for them yet again. Emre Moore with a 9.5 rating as he picked up two assists, but Renato Sanchez also played fantastic in that game. He scored that fantastic goal towards the end, as did Hugo Azevedo as he picked up the assist as well. But well, guys, what is going to stop us? I'm, I really do not know. It looked for a minute that that was going to be the game that was going to pretty much stop our run, but it didn't. 
So we've got some international friendlies with Germany now, as of course we are going to sim them as the one here, as we're going to be playing at home, is going to be up against Greece. But this is the lineup we're going to be going with, and um, let's see if we can pick up the result. We should be able to beat Greece, shouldn't we? Especially at home. Yes, we do, but we only just managed, as we managed to score a goal in the 83rd minute with Julian Brandt. Leroy Sane is actually in the starting lineup with Germany, as he is an 89 rated player, but he's not good enough to fit into our starting lineup. But now the second game is going to be up against Wales once again at home. So let's see if we can pick up two wins out of two. We're going to be taking them on and we end up winning this one by four goals. So Leroy Sane, Brand, Meyer and Werner all picking up the goals for us. And that is what we like to see. Two wins out of two. So it's now going to be time for the third and final game of the episode as we will be taking on Leicester at the King Power Stadium. So we've had a double header against Manchester United. Now it's time to take on Leicester at the King Power. Let's see if we can continue. Once again, our great run of form. So Neymar out wide to Hugo Azevedo. Hugo's going to try the strike from a tight angle and it's a really good block. So we've got the chance now from the corner kick and we do actually do quite well from corners normally as we've got the ball with Ousmane Dembele. Dembele's actually going to try something on his own. He's going to try and run the whole length of the penalty area and strike it into the back of the net. He's not going to be able to, but it comes to Barbosa and I think if the defender didn't block that, he probably would have found the back of the net. So Renato Sanchez with an absolute delightful ball through to Gabriel Barbosa. Barbosa cuts back inside. He's going to go for the finesse into the far corner. And it's just a simple finish for Ousmane Dembele because at the end of the day, he's gone ahead and done it again. Because Gabriel Barbosa is a fantastic striker. He cuts back inside. The goalkeeper makes a good save. But all he can do is push it into the path of Dembele. And that is pretty much a simple tap in at the far post as we've taken the lead. So Neymar with the ball through to Hugo Azevedo. Hugo Azevedo with a double step over. Cuts back inside. Hugo with the fancy footwork. Pretty much gets past everyone. But then there is just pretty much a wall of blue shirts. But win the ball back with Hugo. Hugo through to Gabriel Barbosa. And the ball from Hugo around the corner wasn't the best. But I thought we were going to win that one back there. But unfortunately not as Leicester are trying to actually get a foothold in the game. Lovely chance for Leicester. They're one more with our goalkeeper. Plea against Matej. And Matej comes out on top. Plea didn't even create a chance there as we're going to try and break forward. But to be honest, Leicester are really throwing bodies forward and we don't really know how to deal with it at the moment. We are struggling uh, towards the end of this game. We scored an early goal, but since then we haven't really threatened to do anything else. We've got the ball with Dembele here. Dembele's going to try and take on Schlup, which he has done. Of course, Schlup is not going to catch him up, but Dembele cuts back inside. Lovely piece of play. Dembele to go all the way. Dembele offloads the ball through to Lima. Lima out wide to Hugo Azevedo. I think we've mess this one up as Hugo goes for goal and we get a corner but I don't know what I was doing there we probably should have unleashed the shot with uh, Dembele when we had the chance we put the ball into the centre it comes only as far as Dembele Dembele to try and take on his man as it comes to Lindelof Lindelof through to Renato Sanchez Renato Sanchez to whiz the ball across the face of the goal and it's another corner kick yes Slatan's regen Aremo picks up the goal and who was the provider who was the one that took on the man on the edge of the box? It was Lindelof. Lindelof, our centre-back, with a double step over, takes on his man and puts a delightful ball into the centre. And that is the first goal for Zlatan's regen. What a goal it was. We play the ball through to Tito Zifuentes. Tito to try and take on Dominguez. Tito's going to go for goal from a tight angle. The goalkeeper saves it. And who put it in? I think it was Lima. Lima's taken the goal away from Arema, and um, he's going to be a little bit disappointed about that one because that would have been the second goal of the game. And Lima just showed more determination. He was like, get out of the way. I'm the top goal scorer. I want to score that one. And he actually takes out his own player in the process. 3-0 in the end. So there we go. Three wins out of three. Two against United. Now we've just beaten Leicester. And it could not be getting any better for us. Lindelof picking up man and match as he actually picked up an assist as well. But everyone just played fantastic in that game. And everyone just put in a shift. And look how dominant we were. We had 16 shots and 12 on target compared to their one. We were fantastic. However, guys, that is in fact going to be it for this episode of Career Mode. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to hit the like button down below as it is going to be very much appreciated. And don't forget, in the comment section, let me know what you would like to do after this series ends. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.